What's up, Fight Fan? This is Ann here, aka I know everything about boxing. Here to hit you with another boxing analysis. Um, there will be a new fight coming up February 19, 2011, between Nonito Donaire, who just came off a stunning, great, great, great knockout against Adarenko. You know, crushing his nose with straight right hands, and left hooks to the just, just killing him with so many flash hits and just so much power, so much speed, so many angles, you know, right up because left up because he will be facing Fernando Montiel. Fernando Montiel is a very celebrated fighter at Bantamweight. Uh, the 118s to the 122s pound, you know, division. He's been on the game at uh, on Fight Night Round Four. You know, so that lets you know that, you know, they were saying that he's a very, very, very good boxer and he handles his business in his weight division. This would be his toughest test today. Nonito said he wants to challenge himself. I'm a big fan of Nonito Donaire, Bay Area all the way. I feel that Nonito Donaire is going to do his thing tonight. I mean, not tonight, but uh, February 19th. I feel Nonito Donaire is the flash. He is legit for that name. You know, he can fight at an orthodox stance. Left jab, straight right hand, right uppercut, and he uses great footwork. So even if he does turn to southpaw stance like he does, you know, in the fight, in the middle of the fight, he can throw those punches, get out, throw those punches, and get out. I just really feel that he can box both when people criticize him so much for his going to orthodox one to southpaw stance. I feel no Neil Donaire is legit. He's going to do his thing against Montiel. I predict the early stoppage. So I know you guys thinking, if this guy's so legit, he's so good, why do you think that Montiel will get stopped so early? Why? Because he's never saw speed like this. He's never saw the power no needle no there. And I'm not just, you know, dick riding or anything. I'm keeping it straight, you know, freaking 100. Like, I'm letting you guys know that, you know, Neil has so many angles that he throws punches that he's in excellent shape he's in the best shape of his career he did not get hit with no really hard punches against other people so he's not hurting at all um i really feel you know he's gonna be throwing that left hook that he throws so well he's gonna be throwing a lot of good straight jabs at him move good head movement always moving lateral you know circling his opponent and using angles to his advantage because that's what boxing is about on your jab, use your angles and showing great, great ring generalship. This straight right hand will be his key to his victory. I feel it'll be a straight right hand to the chin when Matias tries to come in, or he's gonna throw a right uppercut and hit him with that. You know, I really feel that the right uppercut will be his bread and butter and will be everything in that fight. Matias, he does have a chance to win, and if he does win, it will be by knockout. I just don't see it going 12 rounds and being in his favor. No, Nito's going to show too much in the general strip, turning him too much, making him throw wide punches. Even though he doesn't throw wide punches, he's probably going to get desperate in the late rounds if it goes late. If it's early, I predict the fourth or fifth round knockout. Uh, if it goes late, I predict No Nito to break him down in the 11th or 12th round, and it'll be over for Monday. Uh, no Nito is tend to get hit with. Um, you know, if a guy knows how to jab really well and timing, he can get hit with that. Or he can get hit with, you know, hard body punches. And that can slow Nonito down, you know, depending on what Fernando Montiel's uh, style that he comes to the fight with and his game plan. Because boxing is all about the game plan and your coach giving it to you. And you know, Robert Garcia, you've got to give him credit. He's one of the best trainers in this, you know, in, in the whole boxing world right now. And people do not give him enough credit. He's a really good guy and, you know, he really has a very good eye on boxing and what he sees in his, you know, in his fighters and his pupils. He really feels that if you have speed, he's going to use that to his advantage. If you have a lot of pressure, he's going to use that to his advantage. You know, it's, it's whatever you got to bring to the table. Nomito got all of the speed, pressure, power, um, boxing ability, period. I just see Nomito dominating this fight. You guys tell me what you think. Who should Nomito face next? And the 122 pound division should he face a big guy like uh, Perez, you know, who's a Cuban guy, really, really good, throws a lot of punches and has very good accuracy. Or should he face uh, a host of a Gecko, 
from Ghana, very good, he's very durable, he comes forward, he's really just a really good boxer, he beat Big Garcini, Big Garcini got beat by Nomito, that's how he got famous, with that crazy, crazy left hook or left uppercut, whichever one it was, and knocked out uh, Garcini, and it was nasty though. But uh, Nomito, you are the truth, man, keep doing what you're doing, I respect you, you represent all the Filipino Americans out there, and Filipinos, period, in the Philippines. Keep doing your thing, man. Uh, quit comparing him to Manny Pacquiao. They are two different people. They do have two different styles. Just stop it, people, already. For real. You know, Nomito's his own guy. He's going to do his own thing, you know? I hate when people keep saying, well, he's going to be the next Pacquiao, blah, 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 blah. He's his own person, man. And he's going to pave his own way through his own career. Fernando Montiel, you do have a chance to win this, but I'm not going to count you out, but I just feel no meal don't matter. Has this. You guys can argue with me in the comment section below. If you don't like my analysis or what I brought to the table, then just let me know. But if you like it, let me know too. Anyways, uh, who should Nonito fight next after he destroys my DL in a fourth or fifth round knockout? Alright, this is Ant. Report.